Hey what's up, it's Chris from Rooker Films and in today's video I'm going to show you my process of colour grading videos inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. Now I shoot on the Sony FS7 in S-Log3 Cine which means all of my footage looks really flat, really desaturated and really grey when I first import it into Premiere. So to begin the grading process I first begin by creating an adjustment layer. So I go to new item, adjustment layer and I drag this on top of the video. So I'll chuck the adjustment layer onto video layer 2 with the footage on video layer 1. We'll go into effects and search for Lumetri Color. Scroll down and chuck Lumetri Color onto the adjustment layer. And in Lumetri Color we'll go into basic correction. We'll select input LUTs and you can see from this drop down menu Premiere has a bunch of LUTs previously installed that are going to add a little bit of color and style to your footage. But the problem is these are a bit too flat and they don't really have a lot of color in my opinion. So I'm going to go into the browse feature and I'm going to use my own LUT for this. Now there's a specific LUT that I like to use when I color grade all of my footage and that is this LUT called Heal Undite. I think I got the name of that right. But I personally love the look of this LUT. I use it in all of my music videos and tutorial videos. So we'll choose that LUT and then we'll go back into effects and search for levels. Now we'll drop levels on top of Lumetri Color, making sure it's on top. I go down to the RGB Gamma and I pull this down a little bit. So I'm just pulling down the exposure a little bit. Now it's super important that this is on top. If I pull this under Lumetri Color, you can see how much of a difference it makes stacking these in the right order. So I like to put levels on top of Lumetri Color. Now we'll go back into effects and search for Fast Color Corrector. And we're going to add some saturation into this video. So in the saturation setting in Fast Color Corrector, I'm going to pull this up to around 150%. And that's added a nice bit of color to the video. Now the problem is with this footage, even though I was set to 5500 Kelvins, I was set to the correct white balance. It looks a little bit cold. So I'm going to use this big color wheel here and drag this towards the orange slash yellow tones to try and warm up the footage just a little bit. If you pull this too far, then it looks really artificial and really ugly. So I like to be very gentle with this setting. Now, I'm really happy with the look of that. If we turn the adjustment layer on and off, you can see how much of a difference this set of color grading has already made. But we're gonna take this to the next level. We're gonna throw on some RGB curves and we'll throw RGB curves at the very top. So it's gonna be on top of everything. And I'm just gonna add a little bit more contrast into this video. So I'm just gonna create a point towards the top of the curves and I'm just gonna increase the highlights and then I'm just gonna pull the midtones and the shadows down just a little bit. So I'm gonna crush the shadows, crush the blacks and increase the highlights. In this RGB curve setting, I'm gonna do a very similar thing in the red, the green and the blue curves. And I'm just gonna try and bring out a little bit more of a green tone to this video. Now that looks really nice. I feel like I've got the curves to the correct point, although it is a little bit too green. So I'm gonna go back into my levels. We'll scroll down towards the bottom. And as you can see, all of the levels are separated into RGB, R, green, and blue. So that's red, green, and blue. So we'll go down to green, gamma, and we'll just pull this down just a little bit, just to decrease some of that green from the shot. And we'll close levels off. I feel like that looks really nice. I'm super happy with that grade. Now the really awesome thing about using adjustment layers is you can use this as an umbrella. So this means I don't have to individually color grade each individual clip. All I have to do is place the adjustment layer onto video layer two and then throw any clip that I like onto video layer one and the same color grading from the first clip will be applied to the second clip. This is really awesome because it saves me a lot of time when I'm color grading. I don't have to go through and grade everything individually, but I do have to go through each individual clip and just adjust the exposure just to make sure this is exposed correctly. So this second clip is a little bit underexposed. So we'll go into effects, search for levels. We'll drop levels onto the second clip. So that's directly onto the second clip, not the adjustment layer. And then we'll go down to the second setting. That's the white input level on the RGB. And we'll just pull this down to around 230 and pull the RGB gamma up to around 106. That will increase the exposure of the video clip and it will also maintain the color grading from the adjustment layer. So I can do this one more time. I can throw on another clip. We can pull up the exposure 
And there you go, that is how I like to color grade my videos inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. Now, there are many professionals that would do this completely different to me. Some people would go through and edit their clips individually. Some people would like to use different software, different plugins, different controls. You can color grade a video hundreds of different ways. So it's just up to the creator and the person editing the footage to use the tools to create a look that works for them. So there you go. Many people have requested this video time and time again, and here it is. This is how I color grade my music videos, my tutorial videos, and any video that I publish. This is the process that I go through when I'm grading my videos. And there you go. If you enjoyed watching this video, then please do let me know in that comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe and check out the previous video if you want to see more. Thank you for watching, and I will see you on the next episode.